Okay, let's get started. Um, so I wanted to, uh, I don't think I uh, explained examples last time about uh, TDMA and FDMA uh, sufficiently, so let's just start off with uh, one more example. So let's say we have, uh, so this will be a TDMA example. So we have, uh, let's say, 10 users, um, frame length is, let's say, 2 milliseconds, and um, the guard time is 10 microseconds. So, um, your job is to find um, the bit rate per user and uh, the total system bit rate. Oh, uh, let me also say that the uh, given the system bandwidth the peak bit rate, One megabit per second, one times down to six bits per second. Okay, so given this kind of a sharing arrangement, what do we have? We have 10 users, two milliseconds. So in these two milliseconds, all 10 users have to have an equal shot. Uh, but separating each, each uh, pair of users is a guard time of 10 uh, microseconds. So in other words, one goes, then we have 10 microseconds, then user 2 goes, then we have 10 microseconds, and so on. Up to user 10. We'll, we'll assume that user 1 starts at the beginning of its band, so user 10 adds an extra guard time at the end before user 1 starts again. So, um, how, many, how, many, uh, how many guard times do we have? It's just uh, the number of users times the total guard time, or excuse me, the number of guard times is the same as the number of users because we follow each user with a guard time. So the total guard time the total guard time is 10 users times 10 microseconds of guard time per user, which is 100 microseconds. Um, so in other words, um, 100 microseconds, so in other words, this is the amount of time that's wasted by the system, uh, that where, where um, uh, we have times that are idle between users. So this can help us get the total system bit rate. So we know that, um, we know that we have two milliseconds in total to transmit of which 100 microseconds is wasted, which is equal to 2 milliseconds. Actually, it's better to write it this way. 2,000 milliseconds minus 100, uh, 2,000 microseconds minus 100 microseconds, which is 1,900 microseconds of useful data transmission time. We assume that during this useful time, we're always transmitting at the peak, peak bit rate. So therefore, um, what we can say is the number of bits per frame is um, 1,900 microseconds. 1,900 microseconds of useful time times 1 times 10 to the minus 6 bits per second that we're transmitting during the useful time. Uh, so I can rewrite this as 1,900 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds times 1 times 10 to the 1 times 10 to the 6 bits per second. Six cancels with that, seconds cancels with seconds, and I get 1900 bits. So, in order to get 
get um, the total bit rate, what I do is I take 1900 and I divide it by the total time. So I, I transmit 1900 bits in a frame and uh, the total duration of the frame is two milliseconds and that will repeat. So on average, um, my bits per second, my, my, my useful bits per second, 1900 bits, divided by two milliseconds, which is equal to, I can also write that as 1.9 times 10 to the three, divided by uh, bits, divided by two times 10 to the minus three seconds, which is, okay, I can take that up top and I get 1.9 over two times 10 to the sixth power bits per second, and that is actually equal to uh, 0 0.95 times 10 to the 6th, which is 9.5 times 10 to the 5th bits per second. In other words, compared to the peak rate, there's a little bit of waste. I'm basically wasting 500, or excuse me, 50 kilobits per second. So this is 950 kilobits per second that I'm able to so per user, so that's the peak system bit rate. The peak bit rate per user Well, what is it, what does a user get to do? Uh, user one gets to transmit here, here, and so on. So in every frame, each user gets one slot. So now I say, what's the number of bits per user per frame? That is, um, so each user gets uh, the total time is two milliseconds. Divide that equally amongst 10 users. And I get zero, uh, 200 microseconds per user. I subtract the guard time of 10 microseconds, and I get 190 microseconds per user. Alternatively, I could have um, started with 1,900 microseconds, which is the totally useful time, and divided that by the number of users, and I would have gotten the same answer. Okay, so 190 microseconds per user, so what's the number of bits per user per frame? Um, each user has 190 microseconds of useful time, so that's 190 microseconds per user per frame <laughs> times um, 1 times 10 to the 6th bits per second. Um, so I can write this as 190 times 10 to the minus 6, so that uh, 10 to the minus 6 seconds per user per frame. This cancels with that. Seconds cancel with seconds. And I get 190 bits per user per frame. So, at this point, what do I do? I say, okay, I know I have 190 bits per user per frame, and I want to know what is my uh, bits per second per user, or bits per user per second, either way. Um, so what I do is I divide by the length of time that a frame lasts. So each user is transmitting 190 bits in a frame. A frame lasts two milliseconds, so I get 190 bits per frame per user. I can rearrange that just like this. Uh, divided by 2, uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 3 um, seconds, uh, seconds per frame. 